Hey guys, it's me Sean and today I'm going to show you how to fix an error when iTunes do not recognize your iOS device. There may be instances when you attempt to connect your iOS device, which, like my iPhone 6 which I have here, to your computer so you can sync it to iTunes. However, when you connect the device to iTunes, it's not being recognized by iTunes. So first, what we're going to do is that we're going to ensure that iTunes is up to date. If iTunes is outdated, this may affect it from recognizing your device. So you need to ensure that you always have the latest version of iTunes installed. So to check, to ensure that we have the latest version installed, we are going to click help, check for updates. Once your computer is connected to the internet, you'll connect to Apple servers and check for an update. As you can see, my version of iTunes is outdated, so I need to update to version 12.3.3, which is the latest version available at the time that I'm recording this video. So to update iTunes, you simply click download iTunes, and this will appear, Apple Software Update. So it asks to update iTunes and Apple Software Update, so I'm just going to install these two items, read and accept Apple's terms and condition of the software update. And as you can see, iTunes is being downloaded. So once this download is complete, iTunes will be reinstalled on my computer. And at the end of that, it should be able to recognize my device. If it's still unable to recognize my device, I will show you another method which can be used. I'm just going to fast forward to this download process. You can see the iTunes download has complete and the installation process has begun. So iTunes was open, it is now closed so that it can uninstall the old version and install the latest version onto my computer. Okay, the update has completed. As you can see, iTunes is reopened and my iPhone has appeared. So here you can see that my iPhone is now being recognized by iTunes and I can go ahead and sync, back up, do anything I would like to right now. All that was needed was for iTunes to be updated. Once this update is complete, iTunes will be able to recognize your device again. Thank you very much for watching. If this method did not work for you, please click the link at the end of this video where I will show you another method which can be used to solve this issue you are having if your device is still not being recognized by iTunes after updating iTunes to the latest version. If this helped, please click the like button. Don't forget to share the video. It might just be useful to someone else. And subscribe to my channel. More videos coming soon.